Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon channel. This is our new perspective for the day. So are you ready to work those intuitive muscles everyone? So we are using the Tarot of the Divine and we got the King of Cups or I'm sorry, the King of Coins, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Empress, the Emperor. Let me stop there. Empress and Emperor together in, um, in a reading speaks to a divine counterpart, right? Divine counterpart connection. Okay, just like the kings and queens of the same suit, the Empress and the Emperor, same deal. Um, divine counterpart connection. We'll find out with the rest of the reading how this divine counterpart connection is um, going to affect the reading, right? And how it's going to come about, or if it's already, if it's already there. Let's find out. And then we have the Hierophant. So we have this last row here is um, Major Arcana, right? So major events or situations that will not go unacknowledged. The, the, this is big. Right, this divine counterpart it connection is big, right? So let's start off here with the King of Coins. So King of Coins or Pentacles, uh, Earth element, material um, realm, everything that has to do with the material realm, uh, wealth, abundance, uh, prosperity, uh, physical physical interactions with one another, right? Everything in this earth world. So the king rules over that. Uh, this, his kingdom in a very um, abundant way. He makes sure that all of his people in his kingdom are abundant, right? And he is a very fair person, right? He's very fair and stable. It's a very stable kingdom. It's a very rich kingdom. It's prosperous. It's um, got plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of sun, plenty of rain, plenty of uh, happiness and abundance and love and joy. It's a very rich kingdom, right? For everyone, not just the royalty, but it's for everyone in that kingdom is abundant, right? in whatever way they see their abundance being, because abundance is different for everyone, right? And then we have the Five of Cups. So fives are challenges, right? And Five of Cups, um, uh, Cups is a water element, which is emotion-based, feelings, right? And intuition. And the Five of Cups traditionally speaks to... Um, loss or grief, right? The challenge is, is to get through that loss or grief, right? That emotional state. And this loss or grief from the Ten of Swords aspect is about to be over, right? Uh, so swords, uh, air element, has to do with the mind, strategic thinking, strategy, intelligence, wisdom, um, mind manipulation. But um, tens are the end of a cycle, right? It's the end of a cycle, instant manifestation, um, ready to start anew, right? It's the end of a difficult cycle. So the swords, or, or I'm sorry, the ten of swords speaks to the end of a difficult cycle that was mentally challenging. Now, even though the Five of Cups is emotional based and the Ten of Swords is mind based, it could be that uh, her emotional grief um, starts with changing her mindsets and her perspective of uh, instead of grieving the loss remembering the lesson and uh, appreciating, having the mindset of appreciating the happiness and joy that came before that loss, 
right? The happiness and joy for the time that she had with um, whatever that um, uh, situation, person, place, or thing um, that she's grieving the loss of, right? Now, the Empress is the Queen Mother, right? She's Mother Earth. She's Mother Universe. She's the Divine Mother, right? She's the Mother of all the Queens. Um, she is all of the Queens of all of the suits wrapped into one. Just like the Emperor is all the Kings of all the suits wrapped into one. She is the ultimate creator. She is the one who nurtures and she knows about self-nurturing and she cares about herself and takes care of herself so that she can have enough to care for others, right? If you take care of others and deplete yourself to, uh, and give and give and give and give, but you don't give anything to yourself, you're going, your cup's going to come empty, right? <laughs> um, at some point. So it's, she knows how to keep that and maintain that balance between self-care and caring for others, nurturing herself and nurturing others, um, uh, inspiring herself as, and inspiring others, right? Uh, and um, the emperor is the protector. He is the, he is the divine father. He is abundant and powerful and he is the authority figure and he is um, the powerful one that uh, understands all aspects of all of the things, right? All of the things, right? So they're divine pair, they're divine counterparts and they're the yin and yang, right? Yin, female, yang, male. And, um, you know, they belong together, right? And the Hierophant speaks to tradition. It's an authority uh, figure, right? But it speaks to tradition, laws, um, uh, organized uh, societies, organized religion, organized uh, spirituality, organized... It's the authority figure. It is the counselor. It is the one who counsels the emperor and empress, right? Uh, the Hierophant is the, the, it's also known as the Pope card, is the one who gives wise counsel. It's the one who maintains tradition. It's the one that um, uh, keeps the, the knowledge known for the people in the community, right? And helps others to understand that knowledge. Um, it also uh, speaks to uh, having faith in whatever um, community or spiritual uh, or spiritual sp spirituality or religious aspect that you choose to, you know, um, hold dear in your life, your belief systems, um, hold, hold true to them and, um, stay hopeful. And it's about union and creativity. And it's, it's rather fortunate, right? That the Hierophant is right next to the emperor and empress. So this is speaking of, um, uh, maybe a potential marriage, right? Ooh, good thing I got the love oracle here. A potential marriage, right? Because, you know, uh, divine counterpart connection. And maybe, excuse me, maybe there, there was, um, you know, maybe there was a struggle or a loss that, um, was emotionally challenging that has, you know, come to a completion with the um, changing of a mindset, which created stability in one's life and actually helped them to 
um, encounter this divine counterpart that will lead to a prosperous, um, strong uh, union that is uh, that can potentially grow into uh, something that is uh, well sought after, you know, that ultimate happily ever after, right? What do you think? Let me know what your intuitive nudges are in the comment section below. And then we got a couple of the, uh, because I love myself cards. Um, first one, oh, helping hand. When I help others, I am helping myself. When I share the best of myself, all that is good in me expands and grows. Everyone benefits when I care for myself. Something that the Empress would say. I'm just saying. My energy is abundant. The more I love myself, the more energy and vitality I have to share. Sorry about that. I ran out of stories. So, um, here we go. My energy is abundant. The more I love myself, the more energy and vitality I have to share. I am full of the love of life. Again, hi, Vemper Empress and Vempress. Empress uh, vibes. So we got some uh, love oracles from Andromeda Skies. Let's see what we got. The chemistry between us is off the charts. Obviously with that Empress Emperor, right? That works out well. And one-sided relationship. Interesting. Maybe this one of these... Uh, energies came out of this uh, one-sided relationship and that has come to an end right i'll come back for you maybe he will <laughs> but there's this divine connection here this divine counterpart connection here that uh, uh would lead one to believe that that if someone came back Maybe it was this King of Pentacles, right? Um, if they did come back, uh, it, nothing would come of it, right? Because this uh, divine counterpart connection um, comes after this, right? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below and um, have a great day. And I will see you on the next video.